Okay, so yesterday I harvested my garlic and I did so because one, they were, the plants were looking really sad and two, we're gonna have an entire week's worth of rain. And I was afraid given how past the prime the plants looked, I was afraid the bulbs were gonna rot if I let them out in that, left them out in that extended period of, period of moisture. So I decided late last night to go outside in my garlic bed and start pulling up all the bulbs. So I'm happy I did because yeah, it's pretty nasty out today. In general, I'm pretty pleased. I mean, that's not a bad looking bulb, but this represents maybe about a sixth of what the bulbs look like. I have a lot that are much smaller. But in general, can't really complain. It was a good year. It's the first time I've ever grown garlic. I'm definitely gonna get some, as long as I properly dry this. As you can probably hear, I have a fan going underneath. I have it up on a tall rack. I actually have <laughs> a wire rack that I'm using to dry and I have a fan underneath it that's blowing air up. So I have them spread out, hoping they'll dry and I won't get any mold issues. Hoping, because I wanna be able to have some garlic, at least to have some cloves to replant next year. That's kind of like, I guess, my biggest goal, but I also wanna try some of this garlic, like to grow my own garlic. Uh, I, th I mentioned a video I just recorded about hydroponics. Next year, I might try to grow garlic in hydroponics too. So, I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll see how it goes. This is my first time trying to dry and cure and properly store garlic. So I hope I don't screw it up. But from what I've read, you just gotta, you know, I cleaned off as much dirt as I can without messing up the bulb itself. And I have it on a rack, nicely spaced out. So there's, they're not touching and there's plenty of airflow and to help with the airflow of the fan. So we'll see, I'll keep you updated. Um, again, I'm, I, I guess I'm happy. Some of the bulbs are really sad and I know that small bulbs from what I've read don't store very well. So I don't know what the future of those will be. They're mostly on the top, <laughs> top of the rack here. I, I don't know, I hope, I hope they cure and I hope those will probably be the ones that eat, assuming they cure properly and don't mold, get those eaten up as fast as possible. And um, yeah, and I, and I got a lot of small, like I said, probably only a sixth of what I planted really bulbed up really nice, like this, like this nice looking one. And the smaller ones, I, I, I think it was due to the fact that we had a really high drought, uh, hot, dry summer. I didn't have any irrigation going to that bed. I th that bed was the front area where I also have my strawberries and like my herb garden, my perennial uh, walking onions, things like that. Like, a, like the horseradish plants are out there too. I don't know if I'll be doing garlic again out there. Once my rototiller comes in, I'm thinking about rototilling out most of that. Maybe, maybe even pull like the strawberry plants I have there, but at least rototill the front where I had the garlic. Because the problem with that area is like, I don't have any irrigation going to it. I thought it was well amended because I mulched that whole area and, and tilled in some of the, uh, the, goat, the goat droppings and the, the, the last winter's worth of, of goat bedding that I had before I sold the goats. So that's all mixed in there. So I thought that would be enough, but I don't think it was. Not for this many garlic plants. But I mean, I, I get, at the end of the day, I think irrigation was the worst part because there was none. And it stayed pretty moist because I had a lot of mulch, but it's been brutal. It's been brutal this summer. We had a very serious heat wave, a record setting heat wave that lasted for two weeks. And it was just, it really cooked everything on the homestead to be quite honest. So kind of a rough year. I think that played a big part of it, but whatever, wherever I plant garlic next year, I'm gonna have a lot more. I'm gonna mend the bed with a lot more good stuff. Um, if I try to grow in a traditional way <laughs> and you know, irrigation. That's part of the reason why I want to put it in some kind of ponics system, hydroponics, aquaponics. I don't know if it'll be successful, but I want to try it because I, that, that's the big problem with me in gardening is the irrigation. Like I don't think I have enough, I don't, I don't set up irrigation systems. That's why I go for hugel culture. So I go for back to eating garden style because it supposedly doesn't require irrigation. It stays pretty wet. Thus far, it hasn't really been the case for me. Like it stays damp, but I don't think it's enough, kind of damp, but I don't think it's enough moisture. So I'm going all in on the ponics next year, I think, including garlic, and we'll see. It'll be a total experiment. I don't know what will result. Why not give it a shot? Um, I don't know if hard next will work. 
I'm going to try both soft and hard necks. That should be a very interesting experiment. But in any case, I'm going to see how this garlic goes. I'll keep you updated, um, and hopefully we'll get to taste test some of this. So thank you so much for watching, and thank you for joining me on this journey. Oh, and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe so you can join me on this journey. Thank you so much for watching.